What is up everybody and today I'm going to be tattooing fruit. There are plenty of different ways out there to learn how to tattoo and get your practice in before actually jumping onto yourself or other clients. You know there's pig skins which are super gross, um, you know preparing them, getting used to tattooing them is just a disgusting method to go. I know plenty of people that have done it on their apprenticeships but I wouldn't recommend it. There are fake skins. Um, these are a great thing for people first starting out and learning how to tattoo. And then also there is fruit. There's a lot of artists out there that have practiced on fruit. That's the first thing that they did whenever they learned a tattoo. So I have a couple different options for everyone. I have an orange, a banana, and an apple. I'm going to break down what works best. Now, not many people have tattooed an apple. I'm just doing this to show you the difference between all of them. Awesome. So if you're into content like this, make sure you are liking and subscribing down below. And if it is your first time here, I am Brandon from Tattooing 101. Let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, we're going to check out the different fruit. I will say right off the bat that the apple is not going to work very great um, just because the skin on it is super hard. So the best advice would be either an orange or a banana um, just because the way that their skin feels. Um, skin. <laughs> With different fruits and everything, you know, limes, lemons, things like that, uh, grapefruit, all kind of have the same skin now. I'm not a fruit expert by any means, but I would imagine that their skin feels the same with a needle whenever you are tattooing it. So, you know, you could just try on whatever you have. Now, surprisingly, when I first started tattooing, the person that taught me who I was apprenticing under didn't give me this option. He just wanted me to jump straight onto real people's skin, which I do not recommend anyone to do. I messed up a lot of people. You know, I've tattooed my brother and destroyed a ton of tattoos on him because I didn't know what I was doing. So now at this point in my career, I'm fixing up all the stuff that I destroyed when I first started out 12 years ago, um, which is super not fun. So definitely use anything out there. If you have some fruit laying around that you don't necessarily want to eat, tattoo it or get yourself some fake skins. Um, they are a great way to learn without having to deal with trying to find pig skins to tattoo, which is really weird anyway. Okay, so we'll start out with the orange. Um, I'm just going to do a small design on here. I'm sure that you could use a stencil, you know, like just using stencil stuff, putting on here and it will show up on here, but I'm just going to use a Sharpie and just draw some simple designs. One cool thing is it is circular, so it's going to be really close, you know, to tattooing on an actual person because it's not a flat object like your fake skins and everything. So that will be one thing getting used to tattooing on a object that's not just perfectly flat. That's the design on that one. Uh, we'll just do a quick tooth on here. Okay, a little tooth on this one. Let's get into actually tattooing these and see how they work. Okay, I'm going to be using an 11 round liner on these. Okay, so, you know, even when you're tattooing fruit, things like that, you wanna make sure you're using Vaseline and doing things how you would be in a normal tattoo. So, you know, holding it, stretching out the so-called skin like you would be tattooing on an actual human being. Okay, let's get into it. We'll say it feels very weird. It's definitely not like human skin at all. Um, it's kind of tough to get the needle in there. If you were tattooing a person like this, it would really mess up their skin. And along with that, it's definitely different from human skin. There's like pits in it. So you're kind of tattooing, um, going up and down, trying to get the right pressure to puncture into that fruit skin. But I will say if you're focusing on learning how to hold your machine, things like this, um, this would be a great thing that's easily accessible. You could go to any supermarket and get some fruit and start practicing today. It also smells very nice. Releasing some orange scent into the air. Okay, so there is that design. It worked really well. Like I said, it's definitely harder than tattooing on people's skin and you could see that it kind of cut into the orange. It's not necessarily just putting the pigment in there. Um, you know, it's kind of cutting in there, but for first starting out, getting some practice holding your machine, orange is approved for sure. Let's check out my favorite one so far, the banana. I don't know if it's my favorite, but we're about to find out. So I'm just tattooing very lightly, not pushing very hard, just like I would tattoo on a human being. 
I will say that if you're trying to get the closest thing to a human being, this would probably be it. I'm not saying that it's exactly the same by any means, but if you were trying to find something, um, I definitely recommend a banana just because the layer of their skin um, is about, I'd say, the same thickness that you were trying to get into on an actual human. Um, but the best thing for that would be practice on fake skins for sure. But for practicing holding your machine and not wanting to put a ton of money, maybe you're just seeing if it's something you're into, you know, fruit are a great way to do that. Awesome, so there you go. Between the orange and the banana, I seem to like the banana a lot more. Um, it seems to not cut in there as much and leave a gash like the actual orange did. Um, you can even feel it. It did definitely puncture the ink in there. It's held in there great um, on both of them. So if you were just starting out, I definitely recommend you get some fruit. And if you've used fruit before, comment down below and let me know which ones you've liked the best for you or if you are wanting to try out some fruit in the future. Make sure you comment down below so I know what you guys are doing. Awesome, so I hope this was able to help you all out to know what fruit to use if you are first starting out learning how to tattoo and going on this awesome journey with me. So make sure you like and subscribe down below and hit that little bell notification so you can be updated on all the new videos I come out with each week to help you guys out. And also, if you like more content like this, make sure you're signing up for our email list so you can keep up to date on all the new emails about tattooing and anything tattoo related. And as always, you guys have a wonderful day.